Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a fun one. I want to talk about panning. You guys know I am a project panner. I enjoy hitting pan on products. I enjoy finishing up products. But in this video, I want to talk about the two different types of products. The products that are very easy to hit pan on, and I say very easy kind of loosely because I don't think anything is very easy to hit pan on, but the things that it comes a little bit quicker. And then the products that are very challenging to hit pan on, the products that I will work on for months and months and months before I finally see a pan or I see some progress or I finish them up, there's just two types of products. There's the easy ones and the hard ones and I wanted to make a video about this. And I hope this video, first of all, if you're a project panner, I wanna hear your answers below. Do you feel like the products that I listed you would agree with or do you disagree? There are other products that you find easier or more challenging to pan. But I also hope that this will help serve as a guideline for someone who is starting a project pan because I know a lot of you guys ask me how to start and where to start. So I hope that this layout of which products I think are easy or challenging to pan can be valuable to you if you are deciding what products to include in a project pan, especially as 2020 is kind of approaching. I know this video is going to be up in November, but maybe you can use this while you are selecting the items for your new project to kind of think critically about how challenging some things might be to use up. So should we start with the one that's the hardest to pan? And if you follow, if you have followed any of my project pans, or if you've ever done one yourself, you can probably guess this. In my opinion, the hardest thing to finish up is blush. So here's where I brag for a moment. I have hit pan on three different blushes now, all through project panning. If I would not have actively worked to hit pan on these products, I probably would have a significant dip in them, but I don't think any of them would have pan without intentionally trying to do this. So this is the, actually maybe this one would, because this one was like my total favorite for a while. This is the Urban Decay Blush in the shade Indecent. I also newly have pan on the Too Faced I Will Always Love You Blush. And then I'm actually quite close to finishing up the mini from Tarte in the shade Party. So let me break down the reason that I feel blushes are the hardest to pan. With blush, I am usually dipping in one, two, maybe three times. Blush is not the product that you need to load your brush up with. And one thing I think also plays a really big factor is a formula. So if you have a blush that's extremely pigmented, that's going to be way difficult to hit pan on versus a blush that's a little more buildable or sheer. And that idea you're going to kind of see throughout this video, whenever something is very pigmented, it usually is harder to hit pan on versus sheer products. But blush in general is a product that you don't necessarily load up on your face. I mean, there are some days when I want more of that editorial, very flushed cheek, and I like blush, so sometimes I tend to go heavier than some people might, but it's still a lot of work to pan a blush, and it's also a product that's just staying right here. It's not a bronzer that you're putting on different areas of the face, like it's just going right here, so you don't need a lot. There are ways to use these up faster if you use them on your eyes, or that's my main tip, use them on your eyes, but this is the hardest, I think. Now, the easiest product to hit pan on, in my opinion, is a face powder. Now, this one doesn't have pan. I currently only have one face powder in my collection with pan in it, but I'm not gonna show you because it's in my project pan and I'm not gonna give you a spoiler because you gotta wait until next month. But this is my Milani pressed, uh, Prep Set and Glow Powder. And the reason I think powders are the easiest to hit pan on is because they go over your whole face. Now, we all apply powder differently. Some people don't apply powder, or maybe you just do powder in a few select spots. In that situation, it's probably gonna be really hard for you to pan. But if you're someone who uses powder all over your face, this is gonna be your most used powder product in your collection. Like, you're putting more of this on than bronzer, than blush, than highlighter. So for me, these are quite easy to go through. Again, I'm using easy lightly, because I don't think makeup is easy to go through, but in terms of which products are the most challenging. This I think is one of the easier types of products. For me, the second easiest type of product to hit pan on is a bronzer. So I currently have one bronzer in my collection with pan. It is the one in my project pan, but in 2019, I've already finished up two bronzers. So I think that's a good indicator of how quickly you can go through them. Now keep in mind, those two were not brand new bronzers that I started in the beginning of the year and then finished up. Like they were ones I had already owned and worked on. 
But I do think, again, because bronzer goes on more areas of your face than blush, you can use it up a bit faster. And for me, I like to put bronzer down my neck. I like to put bronzer on my ears, which I can't really do anymore because I just got an ear piercing. So I feel like for the next few months, my ears are not going to match my face. But for a lot of people, you might use your bronzer on your ears to kind of deepen up the color. You might use it on your neck or your chest. So just additional uses of a product is obviously going to make it go faster. So for me, bronzer is pretty easy to hit pan on and then to finish it up. It's still, it takes time, but I think in the grand scheme of makeup items, this is on the easier side. All right, for me, the second hardest product to hit pan on, and actually for this one, we're gonna say finish up because you don't necessarily hit pan on this. I might have an unpopular opinion here, and this is where I'm really interested to hear what you guys think. I think lipsticks are so hard to use up, but it's funny because I've heard from people who say, oh no, I use up lipstick pretty quickly. Now, one thing I think is important to note, the formula of the lipstick will dictate how quickly you can use it up. So if you have more of a sheer lipstick that you're kind of layering a decent amount on, reapplying often, that will probably go faster than a lip color that's like pretty stiff. So some lipsticks, they're just not as creamy. They're a little bit more stiff, so not as much comes onto your lips when you apply it. And if it's a very pigmented formula, you're not gonna use a lot. So the example I can share is in my project pan right now, I'm trying to pan a matte lipstick from the brand Milk Makeup. It is taking me so long. I've been working on it for months and I seriously have like four millimeters of progress and I use it quite often. So again, with lipstick, you can make it go a little bit faster by using it different ways. You can use it as a cream blush, and that's a good way to use it up. But for me, these take a long time. I think, you know, applying multiple times throughout the day, which is what you probably would already do with lipstick, can help it go faster. But for me, I a lot of times dread putting a lipstick in a project pan because it just takes me so long to see anything. But I feel the opposite about lip gloss. I think lip gloss is quite easy to go through. So this one is just the Persona Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Honey. But if you guys remember, in my project pan this year, I have panned a mini of the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm, which even the mini is the size of a regular full-size lip gloss. They put a ton of product in. And then in last year's project pan, I was able to finish up the Buxom Lip Gloss in White Russian. That one took me longer than I was expecting. But in general, I find lip gloss a little bit easier to go through because I'm the type of person that is constantly reapplying my lip gloss. Every couple hours, I like to just put on a little fresh layer of it. So because it's something that's being reapplied often, I go through it a bit quicker. And again, lip gloss is more of a sheer formula. So it, sometimes I layer up a little bit more of it. So again, sticking with that rule that the more pigmented a product is, it takes me a lot longer to go through versus something that's pretty sheer, I can go through a little bit quicker. Which brings me into another tricky one, foundations. Now, this one, only certain formulas are tricky. I think that full coverage foundations are hard for me to go through. Now, not as hard as a blush, not as hard as some other products, but they do take me longer because when it's a full coverage foundation, I'm not using a lot of it. I typically use less than one pump with a full coverage foundation. So if you guys remember my project pan this year, I started off trying to pan the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. And with that one, I just used such little of that product because it was such full coverage that I felt like I was never seeing any progress, even with using it consistently. And I even got bored and annoyed with that product and I ended up decluttering it because I'm like, you know, this is not enjoyable for me and I want a project pan to be enjoyable. So that's why I don't always like putting foundations in my project pans. But if I do, I think in the future, I'm gonna lean more towards light coverage ones because for me, that's first of all my preference, but second of all, I find them a little bit easier to go through than one that's full coverage because I'm not gonna be using a lot of this. So it's just gonna go through a lot slower. Last easy product to finish up is a setting spray. This is something that I tend to probably apply too much of. I just love kind of drenching my skin. I have moved away from that. I haven't been as into setting spray recently as I once was, but in general, I find a lot of times when I'm working to pan a setting spray, I can do it rather quickly. If you're keeping up with my current project pan, I'm struggling a little bit with my setting spray because I'm using the Ofra one. And actually, 
It's not that I'm struggling that much. It's just that that product gives you so much setting spray. Like you are getting two to three times as much setting spray in that than you are in most. So it's seeming like it's taking longer, but it's really not. But in general, I find setting sprays pretty easy to pan and use up. So those are a few standouts for me. There are other products like I think highlighters are kind of easy to hit pan on depending on the formula because a lot of highlighters tend to be pretty soft so you hit the pan quickly. I also feel like mascaras are really easy to use up. Palettes are very hard to use up. So those, the ones I mentioned in this video are a few that really stand out to me, but there are definitely more that I have thoughts on, but I'm really interested to hear from you guys, especially if you are a project panner. Let me know what are the hardest products for you to finish up or hit pan on and which products just come a little bit easier. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will go ahead and see you in my next video. Bye.